Stop pushing me, Ben. Stop pushing me, Ben. Ben! Oh, no! We're up! Oh, my God! Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. Today, we've got the final race of the regular season, the 16th race of the season itself. Michigan, 50-lapper, should be a blast. We still got momentum on our side for that 10% speed boost. Always important, especially at a track like Michigan. But in the last episode... We broke through at Eldora and put an ass whooping on the field like is rarely seen. If you missed that one, I'll put a link to that up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Highly recommend you go back and give that one a watch before you watch this episode. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the point standings before the final race of the regular season. We've got Johnny Sauter with his four wins, us with three, Zane Smith and Austin Hill have two. Chastain, Friesen, and Finger Gilliland all have one. Ben Rhodes and Matt Crafton seem to be in good shape. One of them's going to definitely be in good shape because only one person outside of the playoffs can win this race. So maybe it's a Moffitt, Herbst, Creed, Eckes, Majeski, somebody. But either Ben Rhodes or Crafton is making it in on points for sure. Question is, will both of them do it? Will somebody within the top 10 win? Well, I hope so because I hope it's us. I want that fourth win. I don't want Johnny Sauter to beat us in anything else for the rest of the year i'm sick of that dude he's our rival and i want to have as many wins as he does going into the playoffs so let's grab a good strong truck and get it done all right we got truck number two 90s across the board we know that usually works out pretty well for us so that's the one we're going to use let's head to the track in michigan see if we can get win number four before the playoffs start welcome to michigan international speedway for the corrigan oil 200 clay greenfield Stay away from him. He's likely to race dirty. Whatever. Tate Fogelman failed pre-race inspection. He's spelled correctly now, too, by the way. Joe Nemechek failed optical scanning station multiple times. Forgot that point that out in uh, the last video. Uh, Post-patch, they corrected some of the misspelled driver's names as well. So Fogelman is now correct. But we're ready to rock and roll. Not a great qualifying effort for us. Not awful, but not great. Starting 21st. I kind of missed the line in one and two. This thing has a weird wobble in it down the straightaways. Oh, look at that, though. That's not half bad right there. Um, it's got a weird wobble in it. You'll see the ass end just wiggle all the way down the straightaways. It's just a, a, a function of the setup that I put in it. Oh, we are four wide, five wide, five wide at Michigan. Oh, brother. Somebody got squeezed out on the outside. I'm getting turned. Chastain, stop it. So I kind of made some, uh, some blind adjustments to the setup after qualifying just because I didn't really, I just didn't really like how it drove. I don't like this seesaw thing that it's doing down the straightaways though that's not very fun a little on the tight side we'll see if we can't take care of that at some point when we hit pit road but for the time being we're up inside the top 10 boys i would not recommend putting me in the middle three wide do you see what my truck's doing i'm not doing that it's just doing it on its own oh shit shot solder's leading the race that's not good. I don't want him to get a fifth win. He's really going to be the biggest problem for us as far as winning this championship. Ben, I appreciate what you're doing, but in the middle of the corner isn't really good for me, dude. Can't push in the middle of the corner. My truck will not take it. I just can't do it. And that's the end of the stage, apparently, because things happened. Okay, well, we'll take ninth and a couple of points. Everybody's going to pit. We'll pit. I'm going to loosen this thing up. Maybe that'll make it more drivable. <laughs> stage one is done. Stage two for you, coming up next. All right, the boys on pit road get it done. Get us out in the seventh position here for stage two. Let's do it. Ready? 
11 laps now here in stage two. Still good on fuel. This thing better damn turn now. Moffat, you got to win this race if you're going to get in the playoffs, dude. I don't know if you know that or not. Oh, big move there. Okay. Racing like he knows. Sauter gets shoved out. Somebody takes the lead. I don't know who the hell's in the lead. What's up, Johnny? Oh, look at this run. Sorry, Brett. Got to do it. Ah, I couldn't stick it. Can't stick it like you guys can. Push me, Ben. Push me, Ben. Stop pushing me, Ben. Stop pushing me, Ben. Stop pushing me, Ben. You son of a bitch, Ben. Oh, no. We're up. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Keep hitting us, everybody. Everybody just pile in. Come on. Come on. Keep it coming. Are we done? Are we done? We almost blew over. Oh, one more for the road. Thank you, Fogelman. No, just keep keep shoving. There we go. Ah, ah. There we go. Okay, we're good now. Well, that was exciting. Ben Rhodes, thank you so much for the push. All right, well, there goes all of our track position. Thrilled about that. Um, that was uh, insane. We almost did a full blow over here on the front straightaway. Up into the catch fence. Now we got to go. At least we'll have a tire advantage. Unless we run into the back of people like that. We're trying to make our way back up through the field here before the end of stage two. Four laps to go. We're picking off a few of them. We're not going to get all of them. We'll get a few of them. We're on the outside of Rayum. Got some draft here from Crafton. Drafting with Crafton. How's that not a thing? Is that, that had to have been like a segment on a TV show or something or a radio show, right? I can't be the first person who's thought of that. Drafting with Crafton? Come on. It's too easy. We got a hell of a lot more than I thought we were going to. I didn't think we were going to get up into the top three. Hey, Ben. Remember when you pushed me and caused a huge wreck? Can we get to Ekis before the end of the stage? Probably not. Oh, hold on. Nah. Almost. All right. That's a good little rally to get back to third. Good little rally there. Sauter gets the uh, stage win. Unlucky. But, uh, yeah. Now we're back up towards the front. So, stage two is through. Stage three. Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to make any changes to the truck. I think it's driving fine. Four tires and fuel. Let's do it. All right, pit crew gets us out in second position right next to our good friend, Johnny Sauter. Hey, Johnny. Is this what we're doing, Johnny? You're just going to drive me up to the wall, Johnny? Is this what we're doing? This is what we're doing, huh? That's that's how you want to do it. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Just, yeah, come up the track and hit me again. Please. Come up the track and hit me again. Oh, Christian. Oh, okay. I see. Ah, I couldn't get to him. Ah, uh, okay. All right. We'll be back up there. Don't worry. That's fine. Agus just fucking walled me down the back straightaway. Real casual. All right, 25 laps to go in this race next time by. Still a long ways to go. We got a little we got a little score to settle with Christian Eckes and Johnny Sauter in this race, I think. I think we got to send a message to him, especially to Sauter. 
He's going to have to deal with us this entire championship fight. If he wants to make it to Homestead with a chance to win a championship, he'd be wise to stop fucking around. That's the caution we want to see right there because, yep, stupid-ass AI ain't going to pit. We are going to pit. Get freshies. Looks like Take Fogelman, cause of the caution. Harmon and Nemechek are going to pit too. We're going to pit. I need to let some air out of the right rear tire anyways. Hell yeah. Let's get some freshies and rip. All right, me, Mike, Joe, and Tate all pitted. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, we're ripping. Hold your line, got one inside. Low clear. Car outside. I'm doing it. You're clear all around there. Oh, boy. I didn't know if that was going to work or not. It almost didn't. She got a little loose. Right. Okay, up to 14th. Making good progress. Sorry, Ben. Needed it. Maybe you shouldn't have shoved me into the fence earlier. Big run down into one. Fresh tires, man. Get you some. Now we just got to get these four rascals in front of us. Who's that? Sheldon Creed leading? Looks like. No, not Sheldon Creed. Gillen, maybe? I saw a two and thought maybe it was Creed, but perhaps it's Gillen. No, he's the 38, isn't he? I don't know who the hell is leading. No clue. Hey, dipshit number one here. Still there? Clear high, bud. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, Christian? And here's dipshit number two. Yeah, I'd go run the wall if I were you too, Johnny. Who is it? Spencer Boyd? No, Brett Moffitt. Oh, Brett Moffitt doing exactly what he needs to do to get into the playoffs. Win a race. What are we going to do here, Johnny? You going to push me? Huh? Oh, boy. Brett Moffitt doing exactly what he needs to do as the first driver out of the playoff picture and we get a caution. Oh, wow, 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 wow. This changes everything. Oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna take four tires fuel. This is starting to get good. Three drivers stay out. It's the three who pitted last time with us. So we got Tate Fogelman, Mike Harmon on the front row, Joe Nemechek there in P3. Gentlemen. You know what you need to do. Just keep them boxed in, boys. Keep them boxed in. You're doing the Lord's work right now. Keep them boxed in for me. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> we'll be seeing you at some point real soon, I'm sure. But for now, bye. Solder's already through. Damn. Didn't take long. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can stretch it on fuel even if we started saving now. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, my God. Hello, Johnny Sauter. Why are they so much faster? I don't... I, no, no, no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this, Johnny. We're not doing this, Johnny. We're not doing this, Johnny. Killed too. <laughs> oh, Ekis is around. Oh my God. Why is that a DNF? Oh, fuck you, Johnny Sauter. Ah, oh, I was hoping he was going to kill the inside wall. Damn it. And we don't even get to see anything after this. Shit. That bums me out, man. That really bums me out. You know, I got too busy fighting with Sauter there. And it cost me. We DNF'd.
We hit the wall so hard we DNF'd. Unreal. Hope you're happy, Sauter. He better not go on to win this race. He better have DNF'd as well because he got fucking smacked. All right, well, nothing left to do than exit, I guess. Hey, we made the playoffs. Perfect. Just what I wanted to see. At least there's that. Smooth driving, huge savings, even though you DNF'd. Uh, never change NASCAR heat. Actually do change. Please change a lot. Story of the week. Multiple drivers praise David Schildhouse's driving style. <laughs> David Schildhouse has many friends in the garage. <laughs> Except he tried to kill Johnny Sauter by driving him through the grass on the front stretch. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much, dude. Oh, my Lord. It's great. Just great. All right. Now look for social media. Presented by NASCAR Heat 5, Tyler Ankrum. Hey, at David Schildhouse. I don't know how you normally race, but you were super clean in that last one. Keep it up. Hashtag clean machine. Oh, yeah. I was super clean, Tyler. Super clean. You didn't see what happened on the front stretch. Send you a compliment. Thanks, buddy. And he sends a follow-up. Congratulations, at David Schildhouse. You made the NASCAR Truck Series playoffs. Hashtag playoff driver. You're right. I am. Stuart Friesen. Congratulations, at David Schildhouse. You made the NASCAR Truck Series playoffs. Playoffs. Hashtag playoff driver. Stewart? Stewart? <sighs> Come on, boys. Don't do me like this. Tate Fogelman. Congratulations at David Schildhouse. You made the NASCAR Truck Series playoffs. Hashtag playoff driver. Stewart, he's so, he's so ecstatic about it, he had to tweet twice. Congrats on making the playoffs, David Schildhouse. Wait, you couldn't at me this time? It doesn't get any easier, so keep working hard. Stuart, thank you so very much. Um, yeah. Three of the same tweet from different drivers. Seems like a great time for me to shill my NASCAR Heat 5 review video that I made. I'll put a link to that up in the top right-hand corner of the screen as well if you want to go watch that and get my thoughts on this game as a whole and why it's not a very good look for the franchise. Recommend you go give it a watch if you haven't already. Shit like this. Not a good look. And that's been a look at social media presented by NASCAR Heat 5. Great news. Your hard work and recent success is paying off. Motorsports Business Management is asking you to join their team. Who? Warren, why are you coming to me with this? I have a team. Why would I join somebody else's team when I have a team? Warren, why do I have an agent when I own a team? I don't, I don't want to do this. Oh, this is for the Xfinity Series. Special contract invite. Hi, we've been watching you for a while. At MBM, we think you make a great addition to our team. Please consider joining us at the end of the season. I don't have any other option but to accept this invite to th this team of Chad Fincham and Timmy Hill. Okay. Whatever. Now we get to choose a new incentive contract. We got the last one completed. We'll go with the challenging two top fives in five races. I think we can do two top fives in five races as long as we're not DNFing. Man, oh man, they that was part of that patch that they released was they tuned DNFs, man. They made that shit. No joke now. That would not have been a DNF before the patch. Oh my god, we've had two in the last four races, I think. Had one at Pocono and now one here at Michigan. Oh well, we'll do this one. Covers the next five races. Well, that was a jam-packed episode. So much happened there. We get to keep our momentum for the playoffs. Playoffs? It's playoff time. We go to WWT Raceway, which I think is Gateway. Is that Gateway or is that Milwaukee Mile? I think it's Gateway. Anyways, it's the round of 10. It's the playoffs. Let's take a look at the standings now. The playoff grid. Sauter. Wait, who won the last race? Before we... I I've did this wrong at Pocono. I'm not going to do it again. Gus Dean got the win at Michigan. Hold the phone. Gus Dean was not in the playoffs before. Right? Gustine was not in the playoffs before. He knocked out. He knocked somebody out of the playoffs. <laughs> uh, I don't remember who it was, but he knocked somebody out. Anyways, there it is. Your playoff grid, round of 10. Sauter's plus 34. We're plus 20. Chastain, Zane Smith, uh, Austin Hill, Stuart Friesen. So I guess it's the top eight that move on since they're highlighted in green and these guys are highlighted in red. Why couldn't you just put green and red? Oh, well, don't be the bottom two. I think we're going to be in good shape. Gil and Dean in the danger zone. Uh, Johnny Sauter's got himself a nice little margin, but we've got a beef to settle with that son of a bitch. I'll tell you that much right now. 
Um, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure he does not win this championship. But we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven races. Seven races to figure it out between me and him for this championship. And Lord have mercy, I will not let it happen. will not let him win this championship. It's ours. And the work starts in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this one, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button on it, leaving a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the race at Michigan. Our DNF, our increased ridiculous feud with Johnny Sauter and Christian Eckes. Fuck both of them, honestly. But more importantly, let me know your thoughts here on the round of 10 at the start of the playoffs. Who do you think are the two drivers who are going to be going home? You got Sauter, Schildhouse, Chastain, Smith, Hill, Friesen, Rhodes, Enfinger, Gilland, and Dean. Let me know who you think the two first drivers to be eliminated will be. Let's see if you get it right. If you get it right, I'll shout you out when that time comes. But we're in playoff mode now, full focus ahead. If you want to connect with me, you can do so on social media, on Instagram, and on Twitter, at Shieldhouse. That's the best way to do that. And you can always watch me stream live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shieldhouse. If you're enjoying the content, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, we're pushing towards 600 subscribers at the time of this recording so we want to have you in the community hitting that red subscribe button down below is the only way that you're going to be able to do that we have a huge discord over 600 people on the discord as well links to that down in the description below but we would love to have you in our community here we hope that you're enjoying the content that's going to do it for michigan wacky ending we'll get it figured out we're on to wwt raceway whatever the hell that is to start the playoffs we'll look forward to seeing you then as always be good be good to each other. We will see you in the next episode.